The last day of June was also the last day of Pride Month, but advocates say supporting LGBTQ youth does not stop July 1st. In this News 5 original, Caroline Sweeney heard from four people who worry about young people looking for care now that June is over. It is like swimming in the ocean. Sometimes you have a school with you, some friends, family, people who support you, but it doesn't always prevent the scary things from coming to get you. That's how 18-year-old Carly Phillips. I'm Carly, I'm a lesbian. I use she, her pronouns. Describes being an LGBTQ teen in Ohio in 2021. She didn't always feel accepted. Then she found Colors Plus, the nonprofit founded by Kristen Pepperat and their so wife, Lisa. We want them to make sure that they know they are valid, they, their identity is important. But a line in the budget signed by Governor Mike DeWine late last week has people who support youth worried. Providers who have a conscious objection can refuse treatment to the LGBTQ community. That's going to increase their anxiety. That's going to increase their depression or increase their isolation. In a press conference, DeWine pushed back. It gets worked out. Somebody else does those things. This is a, a, a not a problem, has not been a problem in the state of Ohio, and I do not expect it to be a problem. He says there are providers who treat LGBTQ teens. I am worried about not being seen by a doctor because I'm not perfect because we're seeing something wrong to them. The impact of the pandemic could be wide ranging too. The Trevor Project surveyed 35,000 teens in late 2020. 70% of respondents said their mental health was poor. Nearly half said they couldn't get the mental health services they wanted. I'd say it can be pretty scary sometimes. There are some pretty hateful people out there. Michaela. I am 15 and a lesbian. My pronouns are she, her. Was fine out who she is at the start of the pandemic lockdowns. Um, it was it was confusing. It's it's hard. Colors Plus offers virtual drop-in hours and appointments, so teens who need help can get it when they need it. Started in 2018, there are events, counseling, and a space just for LGBTQ youth. And it's a great way to just have an outlet, I guess. You know, like have have an accepting and safe place for people who may not have that at home or at school. For the people here, even a small space can be a safe harbor from the rough waters. The shallows are safe, which would be the community in Colors Plus. Caroline Sweeney, News 5.